leaving Beaufort, South Carolina, and we will definitely be back. The current is really moving us uh, quickly toward that bridge, so we had a quick escape from the dock this morning. Uh, it's about 7 a.m. We're going to try to get all the way to Charleston today. We're going to be going underneath the famous bridge from Forrest Gump where he is running across because he just felt like running. I think this is the big chill house. We saw it from the interior, but interior of land. Now we're seeing it from sea. Pretty sure that's it. Good morning, Captain Dan. Good morning. Well, we had a pretty good start this morning leaving Beaufort. A little tricky, but we got out okay. Yeah, and why was it tricky? Well, we had current pushing us, I mean, current from the tide coming in, pushing us forward into a boat that was directly right in front of us as we were trying to get away from the dock. Yeah, that was pretty tough. We didn't have any tough. dock around to help. They hadn't opened yet. Because we, we left early. And uh, so we ordered you to be the last aboard. Yes. Usually it's me, I jump on. Jump on. Well, yeah, not only did I have to jump on, I had to jump on and stretch out to get to the boat, which wasn't so bad, but I had to jump out and stretch and go up. So that was I had to be at the in, within a millisecond. Make sure we didn't go forward. Yeah, it was, a, it was attractive. It was fun. Good times. But we did it. it actually, it worked out really well. Yeah. It worked out really well. Just a dicey for about a millisecond. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Kid Man. So where are we heading today as we leave Beaufort, South Carolina? We're heading to Charleston, South Carolina. Charleston. Dun, 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 dun. Get that reference? Because yeah. you were, that was what you played at your high school, wasn't it? Charleston? No, that would have been great school. All right, so we're heading north to South Carolina. What? Not to Alaska, no. But uh, north yeah. to South Carolina, that's odd. More South Carolina ahead as we bound toward the horizon. The horizon bound right here on the Rambler's Channel. It'll be square. slip beating the storm now Camp Dan is gonna go check in all right we just went grocery shopping takes a while to uh, prep everything so wash down the fridge fill it up Captain Dan is working on a video I'm doing yes meal prepping that's pretty rare for me but yes I am meal prepping for Captain Dan and dishes so yes what we do on a rainy day and we hit them up west marine as well gotta love those all right dishes are washed meals are prepped the freezer is filled with ba little baggies and containers so dan can grab and go and we can have a nice meal i marinated i cooked i broiled i grilled I, that was awesome it's uh i do that all the time but I feel accomplished. Yay! Next, we're going out to dinner. 
<laughs> Heading into downtown Charleston. We're at the River Walk um, in the French Quarter portion of Charleston. And as you see, there's fountains. It's really lovely. A little overcast today, and anything in the 70s, I get cold anymore. So everybody else is in shorts and tank tops and flip flops, but I am cold. Um, but looking around at the, everything, this is a beautiful river walk. This is just our first evening here, and we are enjoying it. I can't wait to explore this city a little bit more. Look at, there's our buddies. Hey, Mike. Hey, How are you enjoying Charleston so it's far? Awesome. Did you like only because of the company? Oh, <laughs> what a sweetie. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> in and out of some shops and just enjoying the vibe of Charleston, downtown Charleston, y'all. I'm standing near the corner of Broad Street and East Bay. East Bay is here, the water is just over there. Very uh, tourist attraction, they call it. However, it is a historical area. Right behind me, is Rainbow Row. Now Rainbow Row, this is a series of 13 townhouses built in the 1700s. Come around in the 1900s and they became just total disarray and dilapidated. So a historical um, a historian decided to come and fix them up back into their original um, colors. So she painted them all in their original colors. And in 1931, the National Park Service made this a historic district right here. So. Rainbow Row on East Bay in Charleston. Who knew? Somewhere over the rainbow, Roy G. Bibb. Who knows what that means? Here's Fort Sumter and a Carnival cruise ship. This is Washington Square Park in downtown Charleston, and that is a statue of George here. Washington.